Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining this 2021 Wave 1 new features uh, for Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. My name is Leanne Burtis. I am a business solutions consultant with CR Group, and joining me on the call today is Stacy Kahn, who is also a business solutions consultant. And we're going to take you through some of the features that you can look for uh, starting this month. Our agenda today is we're going to take a look at the release timing, some administration improvements, some better with Microsoft and Power Platform and client improvements, and finally we'll round out with some application improvements. The features are planned to release beginning in April of 2021 and running right through till September. However, Microsoft does say that not all features will release at the same time and delivery timelines can change or projected functionality may or may not be released. So let's get started with administration improvements. For companies that require the ability to export data for data analysis or long-term data retention purposes or troubleshooting, Microsoft is releasing a more reliable solution which allows exporting of much larger databases. Microsoft is also adding a new capability to Business Central Online so that Microsoft support can reassign an environment from one Azure Active Directory organization to another based on partner support request. This feature becomes extremely useful if a business entity merges or is acquired by another organization as it resolves the merger of the financial system environments between the different organizations. As a partner, CRG would be able to assist with this should the need arise. Microsoft continues to invest in integration of its various software platforms, making Microsoft a one-stop shop. You might already be familiar with the Business Central app for Outlook, which allows you to interact with Business Central customer master records and transactions. Now Microsoft is adding a messaging extension to the Business Central app for Teams, which allows the user the ability of looking up contacts such as your customers or vendors that are sourced in Business Central. You will be able to view contact information, history of interactions, and other insights such as outstanding payments or open documents right in the details window in Microsoft Teams. Universal Print is a Microsoft 365 service that enables cloud printing to any of the printers defined in your Universal Print Management page. Unblock the move to the cloud and support printing for Azure Active Directory users without a complex hybrid print setup. You can print only to devices users have access to and eliminate the need to manage print servers or install printer drivers, including existing printers via a software connector, appliance, or directly. And finally, you will be able to print from anywhere when connected to the internet and authenticated to your Azure Active Directory. Microsoft is also bringing word mail merge capability to Business Central. When you want to send a document to a lot of recipients, for example, to your customers and contacts as part of a sales campaign, you can use Word's mail merge capability to personalize each document by pulling data about the recipients from Business Central. Synchronized item availability between sales and CRM and Business Central. When users enter sales order lines in Dynamics 365 sales, the quantity on hand field on the sales order will contain information about the available inventory from Business Central. And prior to the update, the integration between Business Central and Power BI relied strictly on web services. The update will allow the user to create Power BI reports and dashboards by using Business Central APIs, including both built-in and custom APIs. We'll see client performance improvements, such as faster posting of journals and batches, faster reporting performance, and a faster loading homepage where the role center parts load one by one, starting from the top and only if they are shown on the screen. The statistics provided 
on the screen were provided by Microsoft. Phones and tablets running Business Central can now print to cloud-enabled printers. And users will now have the ability to change the cloud-enabled printer selection prior to printing a report or document. Phones and tablets running Business Central can now print to cloud-enabled printers. Users will now have the ability to change those selections before printing. Lists of records now accept double-clicking as a quick way to activate a single record. You can now double-click in the empty space between record values as well to activate. You no longer need to just click the hyperlink. Consistently select all text when clicking on a field, for example, a customer name, to make any changes. And Microsoft has made the desktop interface more responsive, where it can adapt automatically to the available space on your desktop, working well with various screen resolutions and low vision users. Features for the bank reconciliation have been improved to make it easier to see how the automatic application rules have been applied. The bank reconciliation report, known as the test report for bank rec, is now also available for posted bank reconciliations. From the bank account reconciliation page, you can cancel the bank rec that was posted if it had an error, and then you can run a new bank report. You can also change the statement number previously used. If you now are running a new report, especially handy if your statement numbers in Business Central are in sync with your bank reports. Microsoft has also simplified the bank statement import capability so that users can take a regular flat file, whether it's a CSV or text, and map the files columns to the fields in Business Central, making import of bank files much easier. Microsoft makes this process user-friendly through the use of a bank statement file import wizard. Dimension improvements. Instead of allowing users to pick just any dimension value when the dimension value posting is set to code mandatory, users can now pick from a predefined list of allowed dimension values. For example, your company wants to track customer revenue by location using the location dimension. Your company currently has six possible locations set up as dimension values, but for a specific type of transaction, you only want the user to be able to select from a choice of two locations. Now you can restrict that list, which will result in more accuracy of transaction entry and less corrections. Something big coming to Business Central is you will now be able to correct dimensions for general ledger entries. With this added functionality, you can change a dimension value, add a dimension, remove them from general, ed from general ledger entries, and it allows you to correct posted entries. System administrators can lock dimensions for corrections, specify that corrections must respect closed accounting periods, and view a change log for a given GL entry in order to revert the entry to its original value. And now I'll turn the presentation over to Stacy, who's going to go through the remaining application features coming to Business Central. Thank you, Leanne. Now that you have learned about the new features with bank reconciliations and dimensions, it's time to switch to sales and relationship management and learn what new features are in there. Business Central now allows you to edit prices in price lists and price overview pages. Almost every business has its own approach to pricing its products or services. Some use price lists that apply to specific groups of customers and some just rely on sales prices. When you enable allow editing active price on the sales and receivable setup and purchase and payable setup pages, you can edit prices even though the price list they belong to is active. After you enter a new price, Business Central will ask you to verify it against other price list lines. This helps avoid duplicate prices or inconsistencies. You can verify modified prices by choosing verify lines on the price list lines page. Okay, so let's move to contact. 
being able to quickly get information without switching contacts when you talk to a contact is important. Business Central provides you quick and easy access to information and insights regardless of where the information is displayed in Microsoft Outlook or Microsoft Teams. The contactless page in BrickView now shows more important contact details. The contact card now has an interaction log that gives you one-click access to the history of interactions your company has had with the contact. The contact card also shows business relations which give you direct access to the related customer, vendor, and employee card. So let us now look at the additions made to the inventory area. As the flow of goods in the supply chain becomes more complex, the ability to keep track of items is increasingly important. With this release, you can easily create lot and serial number information cards to store industry-specific details. Some industries not only track lot and serial numbers, they also need additional information about them. To support that, Business Central now offers lot number information and serial number information pages where you can add notes about the lot, use of a lot, and serial number if needed. To create an information card when you post journals or documents, Go to the item tracking code page and turn on the toggle for create serial number info on posting or create lot number info on posting. There is also availability by lot window, which gives you an immediate insight into the quantity on hand and the quantity of expected inventory, where they're stored and when and where they were sold. If you enable lot specific tracking for an item tracking code you can get a summary by lots by opening the availability by lot page from the item card or item list you will have a list of lots with on hand quantities plus expected incoming and outgoing transactions such as sales purchases transfer assembly or production orders you must also specify tracking information for expected incoming or outgoing transactions. To speed up item handling, Business Central has extended the support for bins in projects or jobs so that warehouse workers can find items more easily. Bins are basic storage units in warehouses. For locations that use bins, Business Central uses a system of default bins to support warehouse handling tasks. When a user creates a job planning line or a job journal line and specifies the item number and location code, the default bin is automatically suggested. Now, users can choose a different bin by using the lookup action to open the bin content page. Now, with inventory receipts and inventory shipments, you can adjust your stock in a more formal way. In the present BC version, inventory adjustments are entered as positive and negative adjustments in item journals. In the new Business Central release, both documents are ready to use after you set up the number series on the inventory setup page. You can use inventory receipts to register an in increase in inventory. For example, when preparing to go live, or adding opening balances. And you can use inventory shipments to write up missing or damaged goods. Also, if you want to reprint posted documents or find the documents, you search posted inventory receipts out or posted inventory shipments. Business Central has made the task of creating job queue entries for cost adjustments and reconciliation to the general ledger a simple task. To optimize the Business Central experience, most features are turned on by default. However, as data accumulates over time, it may impact on performance. So to reduce the workload on the application, it is often helpful to use job queue entries 
to move tasks to run in the background. However, creating a job queue entry can be tricky. So Business Central has introduced an assistive setup guide to make the process easier for adjusting item costs. On the inventory setup page, when you turn off the automatic cost posting toggle, or specify never in the automatic cost adjustment field, an assistance setup guide becomes available and can help you in each step of the process. Now let's see what Business Central has for users with premium licensing. A new variant field has been added to the production order header, so you can specify not only the locations, but also the variant to produce. Item variants are a great way to keep your list of items under control, especially if you have a large number of items that are almost identical. For example, when they vary only in color. Rather than setting up each variant as a separate item, you can set up one item and then specify the various colors as variants of that item. And finally, you can specify a lot size on routing clients to align with the capacity of the machine that produced that item. Lot size is also popular in manufacturing environments where output is measured as a quantity you make during a fixed amount of time. For example, during an eight hour shift, a team can assemble 80 chairs. In addition to the ability to specify lot size on routing plan, which you have before, you now can also set a lot size for your route conversion, planning worksheet, and various production orders directly. So that's it. You've seen the latest application and client feature, features and enhancements. So please do not hesitate uh, to try them out. So if you have any questions, uh, we will try to answer them now or we'll try to get an answer to you later. Okay, so this brings us to the end of our webinar today. We thank you all for your time and we thank you all for attending. We look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.